okay so this is my regular apple watch series 7 it's by no means a nike series but you can see that it does have some special watch faces like this exclusive nike watch face and this watch is actually on the latest version of watch os 9 as you can see the latest software from apple from the apple watch so i'm going to be showing you major new features that you need to know when it comes to watch os 9 for your devices we finally for the first time get nike series exclusive watch faces or non nike series of the apple watch so you can see here if i was to go to my watch here and search by alphabetically and go to n you can see i have a whole series here that is termed nike and you can see you get the nike analog you also get the nike bounce you also get nike compact and nike digital as well as the nike hybrid which was exclusive to the apple watch nike series so it's a good thing that if you want your watch to look like a nike series of the apple watch you can get this band that's like aftermarket from amazon for like 15 or 20 dollars and then on your regular watch you can get this new nike watch faces and what you see here is complications that you can always customize and not only that but the nike logo is actually actually a button that you can interact with so if i click on it right there you can see that it it wants me to run the nike club app and if i click on it there you'll be able to see here on the apple app store that it takes you to the nike running club and coach and if you want to install and get it and be able to do more of the features that were exclusive this is something that you can do finally on a non nike series of the apple watch watch os 9 comes with about four new watch faces you you have astronomy luna uh, you have metropolitan modular and playtime as well as portraits portraits was always available but this time around it can detect depth in more things so i did set these watch faces as my watch face here so you can see the first one here metropolitan you can see playtime these icons you can pay basically play with them and you can also see the modular watch face you can see luna and you can see the astronomy watch face now most of these i actually did do videos on them explaining what are the new features and changes and how you can interact and best set them up so if that's something you're interested in i'll leave a link to these videos in the description of this video and certainly do subscribe so that you know what's going on when it comes to the app watch on watch os 9 a new and updated application you can see this uh, compass icon right there that is new and if you open it and go to the main home section of the compass app you'll be able to see that you have now more options right so if you click here you can see that you have start backtrack so if you go for a walk and somewhere along your walk or hike you get lost you can track your steps back to your original starting point so that is something that's now available on the apple watch thanks to watch os 9 and not only that for the compass app but if you go here you can see that if you want to drop waypoints and enable precise location in settings on iphone to create and view waypoints this is something that you can do on your apple watch also if you go here you can see that they have sort of read done this application it's it just works more smoother and better and the compass app since it's more of like an app that can save you at times so they've added it to the power section here so if you hold your power or side button right here you can see here that you have an option for compass backtrack if you get lost and you need to get access to this as soon as possible and not only that but with watch os 9 you can see that the power icon or power button has been relocated to the top right corner if you click on it then you have the option to power off your apple watch you now have the ability to control your apple watch by means of your iphone or using your iphone so the way you do this on your iphone it has to be updated to ios 16 in order for this to work so once you do that you go into your settings and then go to where it says accessibility on your iphone 
and scroll down to where it says Apple Watch Mirroring. Once you reach there, click that and enable this function. And if you have a series that's supported, you'll be able to see that your Apple Watch Mirroring will automatically work. You can basically interact with the crown. You can see if I click the crown here, I can basically do that and I can move my applications up and down. And basically this is meant for people with limb differences. So like there's a certain number of people that can't tap precise locations like you can when it comes to the apple watch and so this helps get your smaller apple watch screen on a bigger device that you you can interact with more easily and be able to enjoy that apple watch user experience i've done a whole separate video when it comes to the apple watch screen mirroring so if you are interested i would definitely leave a link to it in the description of this video if you go into your app section you will notice that you have that pill there and that is a new app that's here with watch os 9 and it's called medication this application you'll be able to go into your iphone and go to your apple watch application and once you go into the health section and set it up on your iphone you basically be able to see your medication schedule and this app will basically give you reminders when you are going to need to take your medication and it will vibrate so that you don't miss a chance and miss out on taking your medication which is something that could possibly save a life now with this watch os 9 we also get some some new software changes and UI changes. The first one that I want to show you is Siri. So I won't say the phrase, but if you hold the crown here, you can see the new Siri user interface or UI that we have. This does not take the whole screen. You can see that you can see part of what's going on in the background as Siri is active. So before it used to just take the whole screen and this is a better and more compact UI. When it comes to the power mode, they have been updates to the UI of this watch OS 9. So if you go into the settings of your Apple watch and then go to where it says battery right there, you'll be able to see, you know, your battery information, but you can see low power mode. It looks normal, but once you click on it, you'll be able to see the new low power mode that has been updated with watch OS 9. So it says low power mode, save battery life by turning off always on display and limiting sensors as well as the Wi-Fi connections of your Apple watch. And you can see some of the incoming connections that may be delayed. So connections such as background, heart measurements, heart rate notification, irregular rhythm notification, blood oxygen measurements, and so on. And when you want to turn this on, they actually give you the option to turn it on for not just one day or manually, but you have the option to turn it on for one day, for two days, or a maximum of three days. If I turn on my low power mode, you can see that the UI and the notification icon has been updated to yellow. And not only that, if you were to take your apple pack charger for your apple watch and connect your watch to the charger like this you'll be able to see that this ui has also been improved and updated so you can basically interact with this and to say charging to full and you can see the icon is now yellowed if you exit low power mode the same is also true so you can still interact with your device and if you click on the battery icon too you'll be able to see that it's charging and once it's it gets to 100% to say charged to full. If you use the stopwatch on the Apple Watch, I'll be happy to let you know that now you can start a lap and actually see the multiple laps that you'll be able to run. And basically, you can time yourself. And before you couldn't do this, but now with WatchOS 9, this is something that they have updated. Now, by means of the workout app on WatchOS 9, they've updated tremendous number of workouts. For example, if I was to go in and start an outdoor run, I have access to more metrics when it comes to WatchOS 9. So by just moving the crown, I'll be able to see like my workout zone. You can see my heart rate beat per minute and it will be able to show you the different zones where you currently fall in as you are doing your workout. And also if you scroll down, you have like more information such as elevation. You can see your activity 
activity rings and how your progress is going and this is updating in real time as you are doing the workout so a lot more workouts have been added as well and more better improvements to workout auto detection so that your watch will prompt you to be able to start the workout there's a ton of health changes as well when it comes to watch os 9 for those that are supported and in general to be able to update to watch os 9 you will need an apple watch series 4 or later and i've been covering watch os 9 like from the first beta for almost two months now and if that's something that you're interested in and you have some questions or something that you want to see when it comes to this update definitely do let me know in the comment section below and i'll be able to show you some of the new features and changes and other than that that's about it for me don't forget to subscribe and stay safe and i will see you in the next video peace